Welcome once again, Spazites! This is Gizmo Spaz, and today we have something I haven't done in a little while. It's just, just a uh, straight up review of an, a set I've already built. Um, uh, a Lego set, anyway. I know I did the uh, little Transformers Creo big guy big guys review not too long ago, but this is my first straight up Lego review that I've done in a while. Uh, I do have quite a few completed sets backed up that I just haven't gotten to. Some of them are bigger sets, and I'm trying to build myself a light box so that uh, it just looks nicer as far as the presentation. But anyway, <clears throat> today we have before us Lego set 70920 from the Lego Batman movie. Uh, <clears throat> And this is the Egghead Mech Food Fight that comes with three figures. It comes with a Batman figure, an Egghead figure, and a Condiment King figure. But now, uh, without further ado, let's get to the review! And uh, here is the awesome mech right here. I love mechs. I'm really disappointed that I didn't get more of the, or any of the, uh... Oh, I can't even remember the name of the series right now, but it was a series of featured mechs, and it was uh, very anime-esque. But anyway, this is from the Lego Batman movie, and here we have our Batman minifigure. We're going to go over the minifigures first, and then we will check out the, uh, the set itself. Obviously, Batman is uh, very dark. This almost looks like his original Batman movie costume, uh, directed by uh, Tim Burton. Which is pretty cool. Here we've got our face, obviously. we got two faces here. We've got, uh, looks like his eyes are slightly askew in this one. Let's put the mask on. I can, uh, I'm looking at the screen instead of the uh, figure. And uh, let's see, get some light on the eyes maybe. Ah, this isn't working. Okay, so, but here's our Batman figure. He comes with his grappling hook which is uh, all good and fine. We'll just put him down there. Uh, the second character is Condiment King, who comes with ketchup and mustard shooters. Uh, his backpack and everything is actually pretty elaborate. He does come with the stud shooter guns. Uh, he came with three condiment parts each. Uh, I think he actually came with two each, and then there's always an extra of these little studs. I decided to just stack them on each other in the gun. I thought it looked cool that way, plus if it's actually meant to have more studs, I'd rather have them right there for if I ever want to do a, a, a diorama at some point in time, I'll be able to separate them that way and, and won't lose them or have to dig through my spare parts uh, jars in order to you know get the pieces. Uh, next we will take out the egghead figure who's got this little uh, cockpit here and uh, Egghead is a character I am very unfamiliar with I remember seeing the Condiment King uh, I believe in the old Batman the Animated Series or perhaps I just remember seeing him in a few old issues of the comics from when I used to read uh, I also had a whole bunch of old comics of my dad's that he gave me after he moved out. But here's the Condiment King. He does come with a little uh, skirt thing to represent coattails on his, uh, his outfit. He has a little tie that, let's see, his tie looks like a uh, fried egg maybe? I'm not sure what that is supposed to represent. But yeah, he looks like, did I call him Condiment King? I think I meant to call him Egghead. But yeah, obviously he's got this separate little piece. I think that's uh, just a, a repaint of the Homer Simpson bald head, probably. Um, they've probably used it on a few other minifigures or used it to uh, represent other parts. Uh, it's not, not a part I'm that familiar with, but that's the best thing about Lego is you can use pretty much anything for anything. Now to put him in his mech suit, uh, you just place him on these two pegs right here. And then these act as his uh, control handles, and then you just drop the canopy back down. Now I'm going to zoom back out a little so that we can 
I see his mech in total. There's a lot of really fun detail in this. First thing is this three-pronged claw here, and it's on a little spinner. Each of these claws does open up, and they are on uh, little ball joints as, let's see, you can see here they're on ball joints, so they're completely posable. I really like the, the ball joints used in this, as well as the ratcheting joints for the arms. But we've also got the shoulder on a ball joint, obviously you saw me spinning that. I mean, the elbow, not shoulder. We've got the ratcheting joint for the elbow. Uh, over here on the other hand, we've got a uh, an egg shooter. And you've got one of the eggs loaded in here. Um, I think you just press this and then the egg uh, shoots out. I'm gonna have to find that now. <laughs> and then he comes with two extra eggs. I just have them placed on the mech for now for a little decoration. <clears throat> this one's also on a ratcheting joint, uh, double jointed ratchet, and then again a ball joint for the arm. I need to get my lighting better. This isn't really working very well for me right now. <clears throat> Yeah, this is why I need my light box, because this does not work as well as I want it to. There, I'm moving my lamps around while I'm recording. But yeah, back here is the egg container where he gets his eggs for his egg shooter, and then you got a little chicken up there laying the eggs, which is really adorable. Um... I don't think that spins around freely. It doesn't spin around. That would be really cool if they put a little gear in the bottom to make it spin, but I think that would have added a lot more bulk to the build. <clears throat> but you got three eggs in there. Then uh, you got some other like steam-powered things back here. This is a really cool and elaborate mech. Uh, I'm not sure what these little red things are supposed to be, unless they're just lights or something. <clears throat> I know you can take off this whole assembly pretty easily just a little red peg there and then you can take that all the way off he's got double jointed you got jointed in the hips jointed knees and then that takes care of his feet but let's back back up and get the whole thing in the shot here uh, this is a really fun little set I love the imagination that went into so many of these Lego Batman movie sets as well as just the DC Comics sets in general, just because I just, I love the the DC Comics sets. I love the Marvel sets too. I don't have many of them because I'm a bigger DC fan and I gotta pick and choose what I spend my money on. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm dealing with a lot of uh, sinuses lately, so there's just a lot of allergens floating around down here in Tennessee. Anyway, that's it for now, I think. We got our characters. I put my Condiment King up here on the top. And then uh, since this is a bad guy featured set, I have him. He's actually got Batman in his grasp. And I really like that. So yeah, I need to go find my egg that I shot off a minute ago. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, as usual, be kind, happy hunting, and goodbye. See everybody later. Hope you enjoy this. Leave a comment, like down below. See you next time. Bye. Bye. I'm Batman. Bye. <laughs> Leave me alone. Bye.